Hi, it's Cindy Farron, Senior Team Leader and Sunset Gourmet Consultant. Welcome back. The recipe that I'm going to show you now is our beef and mushroom stew. This is a great one to do in the crock pot, great for the cold winter days, um, just, a, just a total comfort food. So the three feature products in this recipe are our Oso onion, our Oso garlic, and our passion fruit white balsamic vinaigrette, or vinegar rather. What you're going to need to make it is a pound and a half to two pounds of stewing beef. I put that in a gallon Ziploc bag. It also counts for a pound and a half of peeled chopped sweet potatoes. So I've already pre-done those and I've, you want to put those in a separate Ziploc bag. So I've got those and I'm setting those aside. The next item that's going to go in is our Oso onion. So I'm going to use two tablespoons, which is the equivalent of one capful. This is our Oso onion. Then we've got our Oso garlic. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of this. And I'll do about a quarter, six to a quarter of a capful. Doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to add is our sliced, um, sliced mushrooms. Now what the recipe calls for is six to eight ounces of fresh sliced mushrooms and then six to eight ounces of fresh whole mushrooms. You're going to notice that all of mine are sliced and that's because I couldn't get any small um, mushrooms to leave whole. The ones that I was able to find were quite large. So I've just sliced all of mine. So I'm going to add these to the Ziploc bag here. If I can do this without spilling these all over. This looks like a lot of mushrooms, but once it goes into the crock pot and has a chance to cook, they will go down in size. Okay. Okay. I've got. Okay. And then I've added um, a third of a cup of white passion fruit, or white um, white passion fruit balsamic vinegar, and two tablespoons of red wine. So I'm just going to pour that all in here. I just love balsamic vinegar. Our new passion fruit. Vinegar is amazing. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of water to the bag. Okay, and then I'm going to seal it up here. And just kind of dump everything around so everything gets coated. This makes a really nice sauce for the, for the stew. Okay. Okay, and same thing with the rest of the meals that you've seen. I'm going to get as much of the air out as possible. Oh, this smells delicious. Okay, seal that up. And then I'm going to put this bag into our bigger one. And just lay it flat so it'll stack a little bit better and add in the, um, the bags of the um, sweet potatoes, okay? So it should stack a little bit better. Same thing, make sure I'm getting the rest of the air out and seal her up. I've got this labeled, actually before I put everything in, I had labeled it with the name and the date so that you know when, when you put it in there and what it is you're eating. Thanks so much for joining us. The last recipe in this series is our turkey meatloaf with pineapple glaze. So stay tuned and I'll be back in the next video.